How's it going, everyone? This is Dr. Hefe playing some more Crusader Kings 3. And I was playing my initial Crusader Kings 3 run through of Britannia, starting as Alfred of Wessex. And I decided to look at my achievements, see, okay, what else can I still get with this character? And I can go from all to possible achievements just to see if there's anything that I haven't unlocked yet. And what popped out to me was Franco Crocia. As a French Catholic, hold and completely control the Kingdom of Thessalonica without holding or being vassalized to the Byzantine Empire. And I was kind of surprised to see that pop up. I think I had this idea that you had to start as a French Catholic ruler. So that would be out for Alfred of Wessex, who is Anglo-Saxon. And rereading the text, I realized that, no, we could convert our culture to French. And, you know, if you haven't gone on a culture conversion rage, you know, just make sure that there's still some French culture left around. We have some land controlled here by our vassals, but we can revoke a title, take it for ourselves, move the capital over there, become French. And then all we need to do is hold the Kingdom of Thessalonica, which is over here where Constantinople is. Um, it's called Hamed because I believe some other group, let's see, the Hamed clan, they're Greek, but that, that doesn't seem like the right title. But anyway, it's this kingdom right here where Constantinople is. It'll show up as this light purplish color. Um, and it's in the center of the Byzantine Empire. And we are not the Byzantine Empire. We're our own empire. We're Britannia. So in order to take those lands and form that kingdom should not be too much of an issue. So I'm going to fast forward to once we've taken those lands and then we'll do the culture conversion and we'll get that achievement. All right. See you then. Welcome back. I wanted to quickly go over one of the benefits of going for this achievement at the end of the game. So if we have the Kingdom of Thessalonica, if we had enough duchies to create it, or in this case we usurped it because the kingdom was already created, we have the ability to declare war on the Byzantine Empire for the seize all de jure lands causes belli. And this allows us to take lands, well, and other parts that I suppose my vassals would like, but also lands here. And this is useful because it's part of two different duchies. And we already used our holy war. You could use a kingdom level holy war to gain all of the lands yourself. However, we already used that. So being able to click the seize all de jure lands means that we don't have to do two different holy wars for duchies. And this is made possible by the fact that we have the rightful ownership innovation researched so another nice thing about doing this at the end of the game and of course we are not scared of the byzantines 30,000 men we have over 141,000 so this conquest will be quick and easy and then we shall jump over to france and become a french person <laughs> and complete this achievement see you then we now completely control the kingdom of thessalonica now it's time to become a French ruler. We'll come over here and see where there's some French that is currently under our control. And I've already scoped out the Duke of Brabant and especially Cambrai for whatever reason. We have enough stewardship in order to have 13 holdings. And if you need a little bit more stewardship, you can do what I did. We can switch your spouse onto manage domain. And we'll just go to him and revoke his title. But first, let's butter him up a little with some gold. We'll send him some gold, gain his opinion. And now when we revoke his title of the County of Cambrai, yeah, you know, people are going to be unhappy. They're going to lose some opinion of us, but we do not really care. He's going to accept with 100%, likely because we gave him that gold. So now he has 100, plus 100 opinion of us, and that opinion goes plus 80 towards us. So, yeah. Here, we'll revoke the title. It's ours now. And in order to become French, we must move our realm capital here. We can only do this once in our lifetime, so our son will have to pick up the reins of becoming the next Anglo-Saxon emperor, because we are becoming the first French emperor of Britannia. 
So here we go. We'll move over to here. And we should now have a decision to convert to the local culture. I will adopt the French culture. I acknowledge who I am. And now that we are a French ruler of Thessalonica, we should, as soon as I unpause, gain the franco Crassia achievement. So this is definitely not the quickest way to gain this achievement. Starting off as Alfred of Wessex and ruling such a huge empire in order to finally defeat the Byzantines, definitely not the quickest way. But if you have put several hours into this game and you have a large empire, this is an easy way to get an achievement that you may not have thought was actually possible in your achievement run. We also had the benefit of being Catholic. We did mend the Great Schism at some point, but if you weren't Catholic, you could always just come into here and actually convert to Catholicism. Go over to other faiths. Um, you would have to search through this in order to find Catholicism. Like we could show um, like other other faiths in here. So where can we go? Not not only Christian faiths. <laughs> For some reason, I would think checking this would only show Christian faiths, but apparently not. Anyway. So you could scroll through this to find Catholicism. Another achievement that we could get would be the, I believe, seven cities, um, seven holy cities. So we can technically convert to a Hindu faith. Okay, now unclicking it makes a shell. Apparently you just have to check this, whatever it is, to make the other faiths shell. And yeah, so we could convert to one of these Hindu faiths take over the seven holy cities and get that achievement. So this is a pretty cool way to get some extra achievements out of a long running campaign. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe for more Crusader Kings 3 content. And until next time, do remember, as always, to take care of yourself.